Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Elaine. This month, I designed some brand new succulent plant sticker sheets and a matching printable. I used the graphics watercolor succulents clip art by an artist I run developed from Creative Fabrica. I really like her watercolor illustrations, so I'm using them for my August bullet journal. This month, I will also use this productivity stencil and the sticker set for dotted journals. I'm not sponsored by them, although I hope I may be someday. I bought this from Amazon. I like this set because it has a lot of different layouts and designs. There are 10 sticker sheets included inside. The functional stickers look very fun to use. There are 22 stencil sheets in this set. I really like for their future logs, a monthly calendar, weeklies, and also lots of other stencils. I will mainly use these weekly stencils and try them on my journal today. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm creating my August cover page. I'm cutting out these succulent drinks sticker from this printable I designed. I'm using my month script stickers to add the August title onto this friend sticker. Then I'm using my 2021 mini calendar sticker to add to the page. This month I'm using light yellow, peach, and the two shades of blue as my main color. You can use Cruella Super Tips markers, which will work just as well. I'm drawing different colored lines on the background of this cover page. I'm using different thicknesses of lines to add some variety. Lastly, I'm adding a 2021 sticker onto the right lower corner to finish this page design, then adding drop shadows for the stickers. That's it for this cover page. Next is my August monthly calendar setup. I'm very excited to try this new monthly calendar stencil. Since I don't like the look of the broken lines on my calendar, as I think it makes it look incomplete, I'm using this stencil only as a guide. I'm using a pencil to make the marks for each box. Then using a 0.8 micron fine ink pen to draw the whole calendar. Even though I'm not an expert at drawing straight lines by hand, I still like the feeling of not perfect handmade lines. I have tried using a ruler to draw the lines for my planners before, but the lines draw with the ruler felt too cold, stiff, and uh, rigid. Do you like the look of handmade lines more than lines draw with rulers as well? Please leave your comments and suggestions on how you draw your lines and some of your tips and tricks from them. After finishing these lines, I'm using the same stencil to write the days of the week titles on top of the calendar. As I mentioned before, I don't really like the broken lines look from the stencil. So after I traced the words, I'm connecting each broken line. Then I'm adding two flower stickers onto the right page. Then I'm using two shades of gray to draw some triangles on the left upper corner for each day. Then adding the dates. Have you used stencils for your journal before? Please leave your comments down below. I really appreciate your feedback on my videos and the channel. If you have found value in this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It encourages me to see that my content is helping you in your own art journeys. I really enjoy making these videos to help others. 
That's all for this video. I hope you got some inspiration for your own designs. Please check out this watercolor succulent printable and the matching sticker sheets. The link is down below. I hope you will enjoy using these stickers as much as I did. Don't forget to come back next week to watch my next video on my August to do and the goal page setup. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!